Welcome back to Tech Tutorial Expert. Your one and only platform for comprehensive setup guide and troubleshooting setup issue. If you're in trouble then come in our channel you find the great and informative videos. In this video, we show you how to reset your TP-Link RE220 Wi-Fi range extender quickly and easily. Whether you're troubleshooting network issues or want to restore the extender to its factory settings, this step-by-step -step guide will walk you through the entire process. Learn how to locate the reset button, perform the reset, and reconfigure your device for optimal performance. Make sure to follow the instructions carefully to ensure a smooth reset and setup. If this video helps, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe Tech Tutorial Expert for more tech tips. First of all we will discuss why it is necessary to reset the TP-Link RE220 extender. Resetting the TP-Link RE220 extender is necessary when you encounter issues like connection drops, poor performance, or difficulty accessing the device's settings. It can also be useful if you've forgotten the admin password or changed your router settings and need to reconfigure the extender. By restoring it to factory settings, you clear out any faulty configurations or software glitches, allowing you to start fresh and ensure the extender operates as intended. A reset can resolve many common network issues and improve overall Wi Fi performance. So let's start the reset process. First of all find the reset button, on the TP-Link RE220, the reset button is usually a small, recessed button on the side or bottom. You'll need a tool like a paperclip or a pin to access it. This button is essential for resetting the device back to its factory default settings. Press and hold the reset button, insert the paperclip or pin into the reset button and press it firmly. Hold the button down for about 8 to 10 seconds. You should notice the LED lights on the extender start to blink, indicating that the reset process has started. Releasing the button too early may not trigger a full reset. Wait for the device to reboot. After releasing the reset button, the extender will automatically reboot. This may take up to 2 minutes. During this time, the LED lights will blink and eventually stabilize. The blinking pattern indicates that the device is resetting, wiping out all previous configurations and settings. Once the reset is complete, the TP-Link RE220 will return to its factory default settings, and its default Wi-Fi network will become available. You'll need to reconnect to this network using either the TP-Link Tether app or through a web browser by visiting the default IP address usually 192.168.0.254. From here, you can follow the setup instructions to reconfigure the extender to work with your router and ensure it's extending your Wi-Fi properly. 